Historic finale of ABDC season of the superstars. Only two finalists are still standing. Iconic boys and I am me. And in just a few moments, one of them will be declared America's best dance crew. Well, we've seen four of our past champions slam the stage, but now it's time for the originators, Jabberwockies. When these innovative dancers showed up on season one, America didn't know what hit them. They quickly became a worldwide phenomenon, and now they have their own acclaimed show in Las Vegas. We asked our two final contenders how the Jabberwockies motivated them to fight for the title. Jabberwockies! When I think of America's Best Dance Crew, I automatically think of Jabberwockies. They're the original American Best Dance Crew. People recognize them all over the world. When I saw the Jabberwockies, I was amazed because I didn't know people could like, dance like that. The masks make them look like they're the same person, so when they dance, it's like they're all doing the same exact movements. I love Jabberwockies. It's amazing how they headline a show in Las Vegas. My favorite performance of Jabberwockies was probably PYT. My favorite Jabberwocky is Raynan. It was just so cool to see him spinning on his head for that long. You guys are very, very talented. Their red pill performance was mind-blowing. I have so much respect for them. Still, if I see them in person, I like freak out like, oh my god, it's the Jabberwockies. <laughs> Performing the devastating stereo off their new album, Muse I See. Here is season one champions, Jabberwockies. So thanks to our season six West Coast crews for joining the Jabba Army on stage in the little mini me Jabba. JC, you saw it all go down five seasons ago, my man. What was it like seeing Jabba Walkies again? I mean, that is so captivating. It's so good. 
It's so good to have you back on the stage. Oh, I want to give a shout out to the baby walkie right there. Honey, you were wonderful. Since you guys won the first season of ABDC, I mean, you have inspired dancers everywhere to pursue their dreams, and you have been wonderful ambassadors for ABDC. You guys are true professionals. Your precision, your artistry, I mean, you're superstars. And when a Jabberwocky is on stage, the body language is unlike anyone else. I want to get into a slow-mo because just, just this one little moment where you guys are doing this peel-off, it happens so fast. You go from this speed move into that smooth driver style where you hit the floor, woo, and you come back up, woo. I mean, look, you guys are fantastic. I'm glad you're back. Season one was amazing. Jabberwockies forever. Loved it. Thank you, JC. And just so you guys know, too, they have a hit show at the Monte Carlo in Vegas. So, gentlemen, thank you so much for taking the time to be here in the Little Girl Jabberwocky, which I didn't know little girls could be Jabberwockies, but congratulations. Thank you, Jabba. Now, when we return, I am me, and Iconic Boys will blaze the stage one last time, and then they're going to reveal which crew America chose to be our champions. But first, let's check in and see what's happening backstage at the MTV Movie Awards.